Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Matthew 4.4. 4. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. Yeshua answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. That's what Yeshua said. This was when he was being tempted by Satan. After he's had 40 days and 40 nights of no food and this is what, what he says to him. What I want you to get from this is that every day, every day, you need to eat spiritually. You can go days without eating physically and you'll feel sick. You'll feel sick. But spiritually, you need to eat every day. You need to eat from the word of God. You need scripture in you every day. Why do you think I'm doing verse of the day? Do you think it's because I'm bored? No, it's not. It is because I see a lot of teachers out there who are just teaching a psycho babble. They won't even pull up a scripture for the first 40 minutes or so. Someone wanted me to really check out Focus on the family. Mind you, I've checked out Focus on the family before. And there was something about them I didn't like. I didn't even like their, their title of their, their ministry, Focus on the family. Shouldn't we focus on Yeshua Jesus? If we focus on Yeshua Jesus, then we will focus all. We put all focus on the Lord, then he will come down and it will, it will rain on our family. It will rain on our friends. It will rain on our work. You focus on Yeshua, he won't let your family down. But no, they want to focus on the family. But I watched it, and when I watched it, they were focusing on the politics. On the politics. And something that they they shared was almost that racism didn't exist. They were so caught up into that racism didn't exist, but they put they would take that thought and then mix it, said, well. This also goes with uh, the gay agenda, when they're two separate subjects. And this goes with uh, just every, every liberal thing that they wanted to say. It was focus on the politics, not focus on the family. But no, we need to go and just, A, <laughs> avoid people like that or who are trying to give you word every day. No, you need actual hardcore word. You need scripture reading every single day. It nourishes you. It nourishes you. Deuteronomy 8.3 And he humbled you and let you hunger and fed you with manna. Now this is Deuteronomy. Remember, this is when the Israelites were in the wilderness for 40 years. And he humbled you and let you hunger and fed you with manna. The word manna means what is it? Because <laughs> when it came down, they was like, what is it? <laughs> and that became the title of that food, which you did not know. You didn't know because it was, what is it? Nor did your fathers know that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone. We don't live by just bread. But man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Your clothing did not wear out on you and your foot did not swell these 40 years. Know then in your heart that as a man disciplines his son, the Lord your God disciplines you. He disciplines you. Yes. We cannot live every single day. Every single day, y'all. You need scripture. You need to be in the word. And if you're watching someone, make sure that they're using scripture and that they're using it correctly. You don't want food poisoning. The other day. <laughs> The other day, I took my kids to Burger King, and we had some French toast sticks, and I loved it. I thought it was good. But when they got to, to school, they had belly aches. They had food poisoning. If someone is taking the word of God and mix it, and just leaving out things and leaving out this and leaving out that and then injecting their own things into it, they're trying to give you food poisoning. No. I, I honestly believe 
it's best that you learn how to cook. Cook your meat. Choose your meat. Look at your meat. The word of the Lord. Read it. Read it for yourself. So you don't get food poisoning. But you need it every day. As Psalm 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. How are you going to go through the day if you don't know what the word says? How do you make it through the day? How do you make it? How do you schedule your life to go different ways if you're not in this word? The word is a lamp to your feet and it's a light to your path. You're lost in life without God's word. You are lost in life without God's word. It's not only food to you, but it's also it shines light on where you need to go next. The Lord talks to you through his word, he talks to you till, through the Holy Spirit and his word. So you need it. Yeah. Don't go without eating, though. Don't do it. Don't do it. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the nourishment of your word, Father. Thank you for not leaving us alone and just, just saying, hey, figure it out yourself. Do it yourself. Thank you for not doing that, Father. We love you so much. We do. And just may many be saved, Father. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.